I showed y'all how to make cowboy candy. Now let me show you how to make cowboy caviar. I promise you're gonna love it. Mm. This is one of those recipes that really help you with your chopping skills. So if you're wanting to test those chopping skills or get a little familiar with using a knife, this is that recipe. Be sure you give everything a good wash before you chop them up. Mise in place. I get so many comments literally yelling at me for the amount of dishes that I use. It's just way easier to film. Plus I feel way more organized like this. And three, I'm the one who does the dishes. I don't even have a dishwasher and I wash them all by hand. And if I don't have an issue with it, I don't know why y'all do. You're not the one washing them. Get a bowl. A big bowl. Corn. Black eyed peas. Earl knows a lot about those black eyed peas. Black beans, drained and rinsed. Peppers. Onions. Yellow peppers. Tomatoes. Jalapenos. Half a cup of olive oil quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, all the lime juice, a little bit of sugar, garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, Aleppo pepper, kosher salt, fresh cracked pepper. Now we give everything a really good mix. And then I'll add the avocado. Then I do a gentle mix so the avocado doesn't get smushed. And now you have a delicious dip. It's so good. If you made some of the cowboy candy, you can drizzle a little bit of that syrup in there and throw in the jalapenos, even better. I was wondering if the jalapenos stay crunchy. They do, and they are delicious.